2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Here it is, folks. Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinals. These two teams have battled off, but it's only one that will move on. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Berg here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Jaron Jackson Jr. is continuing in his father's NBA footsteps. Asked about that influence, Jaron said, just his heart for the game and tenacity. You have to be able to shoot and play defense because you don't want to be a liability. At the end of the day, my dad did all of that and he won a ring. Kevin Jaron Jr. wants that last part too. I can see why, D.A., and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that one. I'm checking out Utah's opening lineup. They've got Gobert, Conley out there with Rozier. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's Clarkson in at the three spot. And for Vancouver, Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Jackson. And there's Seth Curry. Then it's Morant, and it's Brooks in at the three. Utah. Rozier kicks to Bogdanovich. Outside Conley. Here's Gobert. It's good. He makes Rudy his first Gobert. shot of the game. There's a reason Mike Conley's teammates love playing with him. If you're open, I promise he'll find you. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. And Vancouver with the possession here. Goes up at the stripe. I have great admiration for how hard Rudy Gobert plays on the defensive end. Even when he's not blocking shots, he's altering them with his presence. Now, here's Rogier. Jonas Valanciun is unable to get his shot to go. And the rejection by Jackson. Morant outside. Now the dish to Brooks. Back to Morant. Six on the shot clock. Brooks the pass to Valanciunas. Now here's Morant for three. Bangs on the trifecta. And this is something Morant must keep working on. When he's dialed in from distance, this offense is at a whole nother level. Now here's Conley. Pass to Rozier. Tipped away. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. <laughs> well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now the defense is in overdrive. For Vancouver, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Morant outside. Back in off the glass. Morant's got five minutes. And that speaks to Morant's fearlessness. Even amongst the trees, he is confident looking to score with the ball. Now, here's Rogier. Outside Conley. The pass to Rogier. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And this is why Rogier is out there. Uh, he knows he has the trust of his teammates to take that shot. Morant surveying the D. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Conley against Morant. Clarkson trying to break free. And there it is for him. Well, fear has never been a problem for Mike Conley if he's near the cup. Nice finish inside. 
Brooks with it. Kicks it to Valanciunas. Just five on the clock. Here's Curry. Rebound, Utah. It came out on top in their last match on Wednesday. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger, and we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. Now here's Conley, and no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. And Utah, another three. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Hold on. Great opportunity for a three-point play. First personal foul. Second team foul. The Grizzlies shooting their first free throw of the year. Vancouver, Ja Morant. One shot. Boy, Moran's brought a lot of excitement. He almost always makes the night's highlight reel. He is what I'd call an elite showman. Now here's Conley. Knocked away. Stolen by Jackson. Goes up. And finished off by Morant. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Back to Conley. 18 feet out. Rebounded by Don Junis. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound, Utah. Clarkson looking for an opening. Passes it to Gobert. Jackson against Conley. Ogier the pass to Gobert. Over Morant. Another miss by Utah. Vancouver has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Wow. This guy is cooking right now. He is Second leading them on the offensive end as they foul. remain in front here. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Vancouver. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in the first half. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That's good from Morant. Here's Rogier. It's a five-point game. He dishes it to Gobert. Rogier against Valanciunas, and the basket by Rogier. Assist for Rogier to be effective. That's just what he has to do. Keep moving. Don't sit back and be passive. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Moran finds Jackson. Brooks up on top. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Brooks the pass to Jackson. Fires from the wing. And again, it's Vancouver missing. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Rozier against Curry. Larson outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Vancouver leading by three. Here's Morant. It's deflected. Brooks against Clarkson. The shot, no good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Brooks outside. Gobert against Valanciunas. Morant outside. 
Shoots over Clarkson and too long on the shot. Utah trails by three. Here's Springer. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the basket by Rozier. And we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. It'll be Vancouver with their first time out of the game here. an entire new group here. Vucevic, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Clark comes in for Jackson. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Brooks. And it's Bain in for Seth Curry. Now here's Morant. 15 points in the game. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Here's winner. Some solid defense from Clark. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Pass to Vucevic. Here's Morant. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And it's blocked. <laughs> to the paint, here's Vucevic, and slam dunk by Vucevic. He's got the size to make that an easy finish. Vucevic, deep position, and he's golden. Favors at the elbow. Here's Winners. He's covered by Clark. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Utah is shooting their first free throws of the game. Two for Utah. Two shots. one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Vancouver with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Moran finds Vucevic. And Moran hits it to go on the assist by Vucevic. Moran's got 21. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Favors at the elbow. Springer, great pass to set up the lay-in. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. They get it back. Vucevic with the bucket. And already, he's taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. 
Here's Springer. Guarded by Morant. Springer can't get it to go. Vancouver leading by seven. That's to Morant. Let's it go from 11. Here's Vucevic. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. I think you want to see more of this from Derek Favors. You love to see him be aggressive and try to send shots back. One forty-four left to play in the first quarter. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Now here's Morant. One points in the game. One twenty-five left in the first quarter of the game. Let's remember we're talking about a fundamentally sound player. Nikola Vucevic gifted at fooling defenders with that pump fake. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Well, Nikola Vucevic is a capable back-to-the-basket scorer, and he plays with tremendous confidence, guys. He's good on the second. Utah trails by eight. There's 117 left in the first quarter. Here's Winners. He's covered by Clark. Winners with the bucket. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Grizzlies. Clark up top. The pass to Morant. Here's O'Neal. The Grizzlies pull it in. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. And on the glass so far, it had to either be. Oh. And slam dunk by Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Springer the pass to Favors. Lock at six. Here's Springer. Well, oh, good with the triple. Morant outside. The teardrop falls in. And it's a 10-point Vancouver lead. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. It's Vancouver as they end the first quarter on a 15-6 run. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And the veteran Derek Favors, now a reserve, but he understands his role. Come out on the court, you know, just going full speed. As soon as we come out, you know, make plays, be vocal out there. And Greg, he's an impact player defensively. And kind of an old school big man, you know, a, a throwback. He moves his feet well for a big guy, and that is so valuable in today's game. And we're back courtside at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. And when you consider how Vancouver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? 
They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. So on the floor for Utah, they've got O'Neal. He's out there with Conley. Joe Ingles is out there with Favors. And it's winners in at the power forward. Conley, the pass to winners. Ingles, nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Winners misses. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Passes it to Vucevic. Morant outside. And that one drops. Morant's got the lead up to 14 now for the Grizzlies. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Favors against Vucevic. Shoots a fader. Another miss by Utah. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And that one's good. Morant. That they're not settling, getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Conley inside the line, Mike and he Conley. gets it to go. Hitting That's off the back of the rim. Conley's got his Sorry. second basket Grizzlies of the night. Timeout. Boy, you've got to love when Mike Conley shoots it with confidence. Goes to the catch and shoot game. All right, Mike. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Vancouver going with almost an entire new group here. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for Vucevic. Jackson comes in for Clark. Brooks checked in for Bain. And it's Seth Curry in for Morant. Now here's Brooks. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Sinks the triple. And the Grizzlies lead by 17. Well, you cannot let Seth Curry have room to shoot on the perimeter. You are asking for trouble. Conley, the pass to Rozier. Bogdanovich kicks to Rozier. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now, here's Curry. 17-point lead. They're big. They grab their own miss. Larson outside. Right wing. Bounce pass Conley. Gobert finds Clarkson. And a miss there on the triple. Vancouver leading by 17. Right side curl. Brooks outside. A new 14 for the Grizzlies. Gobert with the block. Now this is the calling card of Rudy Gobert, a superb shot blocker. The wingspan is a thing of beauty. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Brooks. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Conley, the pass to Clarkson. And haven't really been that sharp from beyond the arc. And they're only getting worse as we get closer to halftime. Clarkson against Anderson. Inside. 
And there's Valanciunas on the assist by Anderson. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Rozier. Boom, he jams it straight down. And this team relies on Rozier's decision-making and then using the pick there to create a shot for himself. Now here's Jackson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Snatched up. Here's Valanciunas. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the bucket. And the Grizzlies lead by 19. Guys are looking for a spark here. We had a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Conley. No good. Shot missing. Curry with the defensive effort. To the inside. Jackson fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And here's a guy that's not in coast mode. Jackson is going to give it all he has every minute he's on the floor. That's how he earns the end. Vancouver, Jaron Jackson Jr. At the line for one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Utah's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Conley kicks to Rozier. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Heads up defensive play by Jonas Valanciunas. Be alert, be aware, be always ready to send it back. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Conley gets the bucket. Well, if you give Mike Conley any kind of position on the interior, he is just crafty enough to finish it. Pass to Jackson. Over Bogdanovich. Jackson misses. Utah shooting a meager 37% for the game. Here's Rozier. And contact on the shot, so he'll be Jones shooting for Rozier. First personal it's foul. on Jonas Valanciunas. It's nice to see Rozier being shooting the aggressor, dictating the action, putting the, the defender on defense. And the first one drops. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rozier gets better. You, you see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Vancouver. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Anderson finds Jackson. Gobert with the block. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. To the middle. Bogdanovich, no luck. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And Anderson gets it to go. Anderson's got four points this quarter. And they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Back to Conley. Down low. Here's Rozier. And he banks in the lane. Rozier. Rozier's got 12. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Curry passes to Anderson. Shoots over Clarkson. Rebounded by Clarkson. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. And Bogdanovich kicks to Gobert. On the wing, Rozier. He's got 12. 
Shots good by Clarkson. You know, I really like this. Instead of putting his head down, Terry Rozier keeping his eyes up and finding his open teammate. Curry with it. Conley picks him up. Jackson misses. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now here's Conley. Six points for him. Clarkson passes to Rozier. And he drives in. Out to Conley. Shot clock at six. Here's Gobert. Offensive rebound. Clarkson for three. He can't get it to go. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. It's Brooks on the wing. Over by Conley. Anderson can't get it to go. Bogdanovich dishes to Conley. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Terry That's in there. Conley with the assist. Points. Conley's got four assists in the game. Vancouver leading by 15. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? going with almost an entire new group here. Vucevic, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Brandon Clark comes in for Jackson. Baines checked in for Anderson. And it's Morant in for Brooks. Now here's Morant. On its way from Curry for two. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Curry's got five. One thing you know, you do not have to tell Seth Curry to shoot it. If he gets an open look, he's going to take it. Springer the pass to Rozier. Driving inside. And that one is stuck right through. Oh, that's, that's a famous. major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Clark kicks to Curry. Floats it up for Curry. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Springer. Parted by Morant. Pass to Fabers. 144 and left the play here in the second quarter. And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That'll be his second foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body for you take the charge. And Clark has got the ball here for Vancouver. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Here's Vucevic, and again it's Vancouver missing. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. And the pass to Springer. Looking for favors, he gets it there. Over Curry. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Moran finds Vucevic. Now Clark. Morant outside. Passes it to Vucevic. Here's Bain. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Derek Favors. Utah trails by 15. Winners the pass to Rozier. Pass to Winners. To the inside. 
Springer, good. Jaded well, Springer. so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. Vancouver has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Curry, and it's good for two. Curry's got seven points here in this quarter. He's been a marksman this period. Uh, the shot mechanics finally in sync. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Springer the pass to Fabius. Rozier looking around. He had a nice open look right there. Rozier's got 19 points. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's Morant. Moves back up. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. From deep. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by 13. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys, with Quinn Snyder. Coach, they came at you offensively, so what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Looking at Vancouver, they really came to play in the first half of this game seven. They did not hesitate to put their stamp on this game in a hurry and are showing everyone right now they want to move on. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They were getting after it on the glass, like wow, then they got a nice edge in that game. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? They're getting man handled. Falling behind, letting the crowd get into it, that affects your confidence. We'll see if they settle down in the second half. from the Western Conference semifinal. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. John Moran, he's out there with Curry. Then it's Brooks. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Jackson in at the force. Moran's against Connor. Morant outside over Conley. And it's Morant missing. Utah trails by 13. So on the four for Utah. I got the job there with Gobert. Then it's Conley. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Clarkson in at the three, the small forward. Now, here's Rozier. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Conley against Kirk. He doesn't hit that one. So Utah will take it the other way. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Driving in. Just five to shoot. Has to go there. That's good. He gets Rozier with the assist. Gobert has got his second bucket of the night. Well, Gobert is seven foot one, and that in and of itself means he's difficult to contain. This guy really understanding how to play through contact. Now here's Brooks. 
he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. The Grizzlies with another miss. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. It's Marines with the drive. And that one's good, Brooks. What a death pass by Morant. He finds a wide open man as quickly as anybody in our league. Conley up top, guarded by Jackson. Bucket is good. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Morant against Conley. Count it good. Valanciunas has got his third basket of the night right there. I'll tell you, that's a big time finish through contact. Jonas Valanciunas takes the bump, doesn't worry about it, just goes right through the strength. Now, here's Clarkson. He has six. Outside Conley, passes to Gobert. Trying to get up and it's Bogdanovich. The kick out to Rogier. Clarkson for three. Gets the three pointer to fall. Clarkson's got nine. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Curry passes to Morant. A floater, and that's two points on the way. And the Grizzlies lead by 12. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Clarkson finds Conley. And here is Rozier. It's in there. Conley with the assist. Assist from Conley's got Mike six Conley. assists here tonight. And this game has been so smooth for Rozier. He's finding his shots and really taking charge on the floor. Now here's Morant. He has 29. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that ball. Shouldn't be much of a there. Trips to the line so far for him in this one. Shooting for Vancouver. Ja Morant at the line for two. The first one falls. Vancouver making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Rogier. Both free throws. Good from Morant. In the third quarter at just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And here's Clarkson. Nine points in the game so far. This team from Valanciunas. That's the kind of deed you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Count that one. Moran's got six points in the quarter. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Conley hits Goni. Back to Conley. Nice ball movement by Utah. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. Six on the shot clock, and there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Morant against Conley. Gets to the rim for Mike two Conley. with the D all over him. Conley's got eight. Mike Conley continues to perform at a high level. Over a decade as a pro, still doing work. Gobert with the block, and they'll get another chance. And that one's good, Brooks. Utah trails by 14. O'Neal gets to Clarkson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Vancouver. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. They've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. Shoot two.
throw good. Clarkson. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. Vucevic, he's checked in for Valanciunas. And both free throws good for Clarkson. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Vancouver called the Grizzlies. Assist in this one. Well, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Now here is Conley. He's got eight, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And Utah making a change here. Here's Brooks. He's got seven. Morant left side. Over Gobert. Gobert with the block. And they get it back. Brooks against Bogdanovich. Here's Jackson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Jackson's got five. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Now, here's Clarkson. 11 points in the game. And there's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Larson outside. Pass to Springer. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Out left of the wing. Rocket six. Springer can't get it to go. Vancouver leading by 17. It's Brooks on the wing. Guarded by O'Neal. Here's Jackson. Utah with the rebound. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Clarkson. Anderson with the block. There's the lob to Jackson. It's stolen by Gobert. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And he drops in the layup off Rudy the glass. Gobert. Six points for him. Well, Rudy Gobert with a nice, efficient look on the interior. That's pretty. Pass to Anderson. over Clarkson and again it's Vancouver missing Utah trails by 15 and there's the pass to Springer kicks it out to Bogdanovich and Utah another three 
their three-point three percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Brooks outside. Morant with it. 33 points for him. Drives to the hoop. And then Morant slams it in. And you got to close off those avenues to Morant. Once he gets in one, he is focused on dropping the hammer. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Utah. And, and this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And no doubt coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Is here for the Grizzlies. Brandon Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson, and it's Bain in for Anderson. Here's Winner. No good on the quick three. And the Grizzlies leading by 14 to the paint. Out to the wing. Here's O'Neal. The Grizzlies pull it in. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That is his first foul of the game. Morant outside. Brooks up on top. He has seven. Five to shoot over Favors. I think this is the one area where you could say Derek Favors has to continue to grow. You love to watch him get physical on the defensive end. Two minutes remaining in the third. Morant against Rogier. A shot, no good. Morant with some nice D. One forty-six left here in the third quarter. From deep, Favors with the rebound. Favors got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1 3, but that was back in the first half. Now, here's Ingles. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Going inside, and he pings it all with one hand. Say this guy recognizes when driving lanes are available. Joe Ingles waits until it opens and then seizes the opportunity. Pass to Clark. Vancouver working the ball around now. Pass to Brooks. Let's it go with the three. O'Neal with the rebound. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Outside favors. Over Clark. Here's Winner. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Winners has got six. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. Clark dishes to Moran. With the drive. Favors with the rebound. Favors has got rebound number five here tonight. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Seth Curry, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Mike Conley's checked in for Utah. Here 
as Rozier. A shot good on the assist by Engel. Rozier's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Utah. Here's Morant. And the rejection by Favors. Winners the pass to Ingles. He feeds it to Favors. And the call on the shot and sends him to the line. Don't you love the attacking attitude of Derek Favors on the interior? Not many guys who can match his frame and strength. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And that one falls for Favors. Now, Derek Favors undoubtedly has turned himself into a dependable power forward, someone capable of averaging a double-double in the NBA. And he can't hit the second. And we've reached the end of the third. Grizzlies lead by seven. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. They've got John Morant. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Brandon Clark. Then it's Curry. And it's Bain in at the small forward position. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Curry passes to Morant. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Morant's got 38 points. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. To the middle. Here's Rozier. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Alan Jones has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Curry against Rozier. Curry passes to Valanciunas. Morant outside. Five on the clock. From past the arc. And they recover it. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Curry against Rogier. And Bogdanovich gets to Conley. The kick out to Rozier. Curry with the steal. Inside. Here's Morant. And it goes down two points. Morant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And the contact can't trip Morant up. He just glides past it and into his shot. Conley against Valanciunas. Side Bogdanovich. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. These are the shots we expect Bogdanovich to make, and he doesn't take much time to get them off before the defense can react. Here's Valanciunas. Great D that time from Favors. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal and foul. Rozier's not First one team to foul. be afraid to take things into his own hands. He'll get inside Terry and get invisible Rozier. when he has to, even if it means taking on the contact. That free throw, no good. Brooks checked in for Bain. And Utah also making a switch. Clarkson's checked in. And he misses the second one as well, so he was 0 for 2. That's it. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. Trailing here by 8. Bogdanovich, no luck. Vancouver has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Clark dishes to Curry. Feeds it to Valanciunas. Great D that time from Favors. Utah trails by eight. Here's Rozier. Curry is a nice D. Vancouver, they've gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Brooks, left side. Pass to Curry. Fires from deep. And it's good. Assisting on the play with Brooks. Brooks has got his third assist on the night. Now this is Curry's specialty. The catch and shoot. Yes, sir. That's in his bag. Go ahead, Seth. That's a two from Rogier. They get it again. Favors. And there's two yeah, points. Working on the glass. Paying off that time. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort. And they paid the price. The three from Morant. Rebound, Utah. To the inside. Bogdanovich, no luck. And the Grizzlies leading by nine. And there's the feed to Kirk. That one goes. That's counting. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Now, here's Rogier. Clarkson outside to the left wing. There's the pass to Rozier. Cans it from downtown. Rozier. Rozier's got 26 points. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Bogdanovich against Morant. Here's Clark. And the whistle Utah blows. Foul. It's going to be on Michael Conley. Mike Conley. That's his third foul of the game. Foul. Vancouver first making a switch foul. here. Jackson's checked in. Now in switch here also Utah. for Utah. Goberry's checked in for Derek Favors. Here's Curry with the three. Good and a nice assist for Morant. Morant's got his seventh assist in the game. for a team that has a long way to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. Now here's Brooks, following the miss by Michael Conley. The drive by Brooks, again oh, with the ball. A, a defensive yeah, forward ball. so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Here's Morant. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. And it's Morant. That time on the assist by Brooks. Brooks has got four assists now tonight. Conley scanning the floor. It's up a three. Vancouver pulls it in. Outside curve. Feeling it. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Curry's got 10 points in just the second half. Conley against Morant. 
passes it to Gobert. Here's Rozier. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Rudy Gobert. Well, Rudy Gobert stands seven foot one, and he's an unselfish guy. It puts the pass on the money. Allen Jun is with the ball. Now defended by Gobert. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Shot clock at six. Here's Curry with the three. Doesn't go that time. And Utah the other way now. Pass to Rozier. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Rozier's got 30 points. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Curry against Rogier. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists in the game. Utah calls timeout. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Player of the game, Michael Conley. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Vancouver making a switch here. Vucevic just checked in. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Quinn Snyder's huddle. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Outside for Jackson. Over Bogdanovich. It's tipped. Did you guys just see that? Listen, Bogdanovich can guard, but shot blocking? Wow. Pass to Conley. Bounce pass from Rozier. Conley finds Rozier. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Mike Conley. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. And that one's good, Morant. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Outside Conley. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Conley against Morant. To the paint. It's stolen by Gobert. And it's Conley penetrating. And the rejection by Jackson. Morant against two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now here's Morant. He's guarded close. He blocks it again. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Here's Rogier. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter, and a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Good on the shot a bit long that time. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. A three from Morant. Gobert pulls it in. 
and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Does somebody want to tell him that he's up off the three? Rozier for three. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. And, and guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Vancouver. Two great rebounding teams. And, and these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And for a series that went the distance, you have to admire how they were able to close it out here as the time winds down. Yeah, well, you, you never know going into a Game 7 like Jordan this. Who's is going to rise to the occasion. I think they showed they had exactly what was needed. That extra grit and grind to fight for the win. Fight for the series. And, and congratulations are definitely in order. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for John Morant. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. And, and once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight they've done that and then some. Outside curve. has been won. They took the long road to get here, but they've done it. They're moving on to the conference finals, Greg, after a thrilling seven-game series and a win here in round two. And what a memorable series this was. So fitting that it came down to a game seven, and now no rest for the weary. They've got to get right back to work. And Jeff's down to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you. So. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. It's time for us to say goodbye, and we hope you've enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our terrific 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you later.